hey, hey. Now listen to me, you street urchins. If at the count of five, you don't ever grade my property, I'll make sure you spend the rest of your lives in jail. Out! Is this the reason you refuse to join us to the church program? Is, is that the way you want to live your life in Halatry? Whining, smoking? Oh. <coughs> that is okay. Look, Pops, it's not like that. Since we came home for holidays, this place has been very boring. It's been looking like a graveyard, so I thought I should just make it lively a little bit. You should be thanking me for that. Emilia! Uh, Come back here. Pops, whatever you want to discuss with me, you should hold on to tomorrow because right now, I am exhausted. Hmm? your holy name who is like unto thee who can be compared to thee amongst all the gods on earth there is none like you none to be compared to you even thank you father for who you are and all that you continue to do for us as a people as a family your grace is sufficient for us. You are the mighty provider. You are the one that gives maximum protection. You bring joy, you bring happiness, you bring peace. I worship your holy name. I join the 24 elders in heaven, bowing down before your throne and saying, Holy, holy is the Lord God most high. Thank you for redemption. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for restoration. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for the opportunity and the privilege to be called a daughter of God. Thank you for your spirit that is evident in my life, in my lifestyle. Thank you for grace to run the race exceedingly above. What kind of wickedness is this? Thank you for leading the way as I follow. Thank you, Jesus. You are God. Why is this girl always disturbing my sound sleep? What kind of rubbish is this? Okay, I know what to do. You represent good and I am a believer and a testifier of your goodness. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Joy like a river, joy like a river, joy like Like a river, joy, like a river. Joy like a river in my soul. Present the Lord always. Please keep it low. I'm praying. You two keep it low. I'm sleeping. 
Must you disturb the entire neighborhood each time you're praying? Are you the first person to be born again? Eh, Jane? Just try and keep it low. Thank you. You too, keep it low. Thank you too. I drink the blood of Jesus. I drink the blood of Jesus. I soak myself with the blood of Jesus. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus in this room, in every corner of this room, in every corner of this house, in the street where we live, in the city, the blood of Jesus, in my country, the blood of Jesus, the blood that sets us free. The blood that purifies and sanctifies us. The blood that makes us whole. The blood that makes the difference. I drink the blood of Jesus. I take authority from the heavens and declare war in the kingdom of darkness. In whatever way that they rear their ugly head. In whatever form that they manifest their antiques. In whatever form that they we ponise against sons and daughters of the living God. I send the Holy Ghost fire to you. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire consume every abnormal. I'm with you. Jessica, why you not give me this your boyfriend, man? And give me this gamma arrangement. I don't they beg you for this thing since so. Because he is my man. Calm down. We shall be because he's my man. Listen, we are in 21st century. Yes. This is your so-called boo that you think is your all and all. He has boos, if not other boos. Give me this gamma arrange jam. Now you tell me say Ebola heavy. I don't know me my feel him. Now I just test I'm small. See, I'm not stingy you and I know the waste time woman. I go use and give you back. What I want use man do. Give me this thing now. Emilia, you stink. Excuse me. Why did they call all this rubbish? Are you mad? If you touch me again, eh, Wait, did I'll you just shoot. slap me? You slapped me? Yes, I did. I I, are you mad? Are you mad? Are this idiot. Did you just slap me? Yes, and I will beat you here. Ah, look at this. Die what? Who's <laughs> my man? <laughs> Talking guy, soon. Guy, guy, guy. Guy, guy cheers, man. Guy, cheers. Yeah. I love, bro. Talking soon, man. It was so nice seeing you guys. Hey, league zone. Hey, God. Sorry, madam. What can I offer you? Get me alcoholic wine mixed with plenty of ice. This is my dream girl. That's it. Did you see that? No. This big fine. She don't die. Guys, 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 guys. What's in the soul? What did they happen, sir? Guess this, guess that. I beg you, this guy to like me now. It's like they tell you before. Waiter. Where's your convenience? Over there. Do you want to use it? We wanna. I am 
I said, what you do then? How do I do it? Like Casanova! Like Casanova! Yeah, best of luck, wait for my hand. Hello, beautiful. I was right there with my friends when you walked in. And I said to myself and my friends that you are the girl for me. And I must. Fuck me. Not really, but you see. Do you have a condom on you? so hot. Excuse you. Do I know you from anywhere? <laughs> you and I just... Mr. Man, I don't know you. We never met. So stop disturbing my life. But we just... <laughs> Waiter, here's your money. Why are you stalking me? I said, why are you stalking me? You see, I... Hey! Listen attentively. I... What happened the other day was just a fling. And not a leverage for you to follow me around town. Next time I see you near me, I will chop off your pencil like dick and chop it down your throat. Do you understand? Yes, yes, yes. Now run off before I change my mind. Before my father comes and sees me, hurry up, please. Quick, quick, quick. Please wear your clothes. Quick, 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 quick. Uh, Amelia. What? Oh. 
Who are those idiots? And what are they doing in your room? Daddy and my friends, we were studying when we slept off. You think you are talking to an idiot? Emilia, what haven't I done to correct you? What haven't I done to make you a responsible girl? I have used Ken. Ken is not working. I used Carrot. Carrot is not working. Tell me why. Why are you doing this to yourself? Dad, we didn't do anything. God. Why? 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 My angel. Yes, Dad. I want you to talk to your sister. She is getting out of hand at every tickling minute. Both of you are supposed to share a similar character trait. But she is your antithesis. A very opposite of you. I'll talk to her, Dad. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Thank you. I'll see you in five hours. Five hours? Is your day that busy? Oh, well, a lot of appointments. Oh. Okay. See you. Have a great day. Oh, and Dad, don't forget, we will be going back to school tomorrow. Ah. Yeah. That's all right. Yes, Dad. See you. See you. Love you. Love you, Dad. I came to have a word with you. Then make it quick. I don't have much time to spare. My time is expensive. What is the matter with you? Why do you... Why do you do these things? Have you ever, for one minute, stopped to... Hey, 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 hey. Are you here to chastise me? No. Why would I do that? 
Because you sounded like a big sis. The last time I checked, you're not. I'm with you. To advise you. Then I'm so advised. Are you chasing me out of your room? If that is how you see it, then I'm chasing you out. to bad rubbish. Yes, uh, please, is Jane around? Uh, no, she's not around. She, she's not yet back from lectures. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, no, no, no um, you can just, you know, sit and wait for her. She'll be back soonest. All right? Make yourself comfortable. Relax. Ah. Uh, just make yourself comfortable. Just sit and wait for her. So, yeah. what's your cute name? Um, Jerry. Jerry? Wow. Such a nice name for a handsome man like you. You know, the sound of your name is sending electrifying messages across my body. You know, I would like a man like you to wriggle my sexy waist. You look like you'll be very good on bed. And uh, looking at you, that's a huge size over there. I like it huge. <laughs> if it enters me, my goodness. Hi. Hey. Hey. Uh... Um, Jerry, you said you wanted water, right? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Thank I'll get you. it for you right away. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Sister Jane, I call you in here to commend your efforts. You have done exceedingly great. And your enthusiasm and sacrifice is commendable. I want to say a very big thank you. Thank you, Pastor. This is the only life I know. Sure. There's nothing else I'd rather do other than the work of God. Mm. Yes, Good. Another thing is, I want to move you from success, self-fellowship to a new and more challenging task. You're taking the office of the church administration What? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. Well, it will be more demanding. So put on your very best. I will. You're welcome. Congratulations. Thank you, Pastor.
thought we had an agreement to keep it down. This is not a library. Neither is this a disco hall. I am trying to study for my degree exams, and so should you. So can we please concentrate? Thank you. That one are your biggie. That one consigned you. Really, um, I have an appointment next week at the U.S. consulate. How long will you be gone for? Uh, three years. Three years? Yeah, three years. That's a long time. Oh, well, not too long. Wait a minute. Why can't you do your PhD here in Nigeria? Like every other person is doing it. Oh, wait a minute. You, you, you want to have the American experience? Is no, this what this is about? No, 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 no. It's my dad. My dad just insists it has to be the US. Yeah, I remember. The Harvard family. I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too. Are you going to be a good boy over there? Of course I'll be a good boy. Do I have a choice? No, you don't. I don't. Now the question to you is, are you... Don't, don't say it. You know it. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it still stays there for me till I come Stop back. It. No, seriously, I hope you won't give it up. Place. Like, are you going to give the doors oh, shut until I get back? Jesus, no, Jesus. seriously, because it, it really hurts me if somebody you else... You just you're in a public place. ...has the password and gets to the promised land before I do. You know, so... Yeah. <laughs> you got to keep it glued, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's unholy to say. Take that back. Well, I'm just advising you to keep it holy till I get back. That's it. I beg your pardon. You are saying all the money I spent on you and West. I have to spend extra because you want to write some bunch of carryovers. But that is not my fault. No, man. it's my fault. It's my fault. You started out with your sister. Where is she now? She's serving. And you are here grappling with some bunch of carryover. Now listen. I have the money. I will spend it on you. But don't you ever think you are punishing me. No, 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 no. You are not. I am an accomplished man. Get out of my sight. Oh, Daddy, how are you? I'm 
missed you so much. I missed you too. How was your flight? You look so young. Oh. You're welcome. Look at you. Thank you. What have you been doing with yourself? Thank you. Oh, well, nothing. Just the thought about you and what you have achieved mm -hmm. resurrected the boy in me. <laughs> I'm How was the flight? Oh, my flight was smooth. Good. Very smooth. Let's go inside so you tell me everything. Sure. Yes. How is Amelia and oh, everybody well. else? Amelia. I'm back. Babes, you're back? You still smoke? You promised me that you would quit smoking before I returned from my NYSE. Yeah, I know. But shit happens. You know, this country is full of bullshit. I think I can just use this thing and get myself, make I do all right. You don't understand. That kind of thing. Something's never changed with you. Not, not, not that I still Miss Olia Dandao. Miss Olia I beg free me, oh. Now, cigarette I smoke, I know key person. Ah, uh -uh. shoo. You know, I actually came back two nights ago. Two nights? Yeah, I came back into the country two nights ago. Two nights? Um, yeah, two nights. Okay. Okay. And you didn't think to call me, okay. No, 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 no. See, I wanted to surprise you, mm -hmm. okay? Um, surprise, surprise. Big surprise. Mm -hmm. I almost jumped out of my skin. <laughs> but I'd be surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell me, what's new about you I don't know besides you being a wonderful orator? <laughs> Stop it. Um, where to begin? Anyway. Okay. Um, I now own and run a consulting firm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. And we consult for banks and wow. money firms. Wow. Old, new, we got them covered. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I am now a financial analyst and valuer certified. Mm. <laughs> and oh, oh, I almost forgot. I'm just close to completing my PhD program. <laughs> Yeah, I need nice. to do that. Nice. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you, though? Me? Um, nothing about me, really. Nothing. Just, just little things about me. Um, you know. Um, I just finished one little program. You know, because my family, you know, they have a long list of people who graduated from one school. So I just decided to have a little PhD program at Harvard. Just like oh. Yeah. The big H. <laughs> big H. Worth it. <laughs> don't tell me I'm bragging. You don't, are bragging. Don't tell me I'm bragging. You're not even bragging. <laughs> you just have to sleep that in. No. I mean, yeah. Just, but I hear you. I'm just trying. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to be like you. Uh, you know? <laughs> Congratulations. Thank to you. you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. You've done well for yourself. I have. Yeah. So have you. Of course. Of course. Shall we make a toast then? To your return? To a great return. To motherland. To motherland. <laughs> Better friendship. That's right. More financial power to our pockets, okay? Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> So I'd like to thank you for coming to mine. It was indeed a pleasure, you know, having, you know, very, very, you know, interesting 
Oh, interactions with you. Yes, yes. Very intelligent and, and you know, something I believe that will come to fore, even though you refuse to drink wine, you say you don't like alcohol. Mm. But then, <laughs> well, you have to watch your sugar level though, really. Because it's important. So I do look forward to, you know, seeing a whole lot more of you, really. Well, that's a given because uh, you're back now. Well, uh, yes, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Hey, 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 look at that, look at that. Nice to look see you, too. Nice to see that. you, too. Wow, brother. Wow, so good to see you. You look splendid. I just keep trying, I just keep trying. <laughs> America shop looks good on you. Of course, of but course. But I hope you got us something. Of, of course I did. That's I did. my father. I did, I did. <laughs> hey, uh, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's my friend Jane. Jane, my two disturbing lovely sisters, Harmony and Jennifer. Oh, wow. Please meet you. Welcome. I feel it is good job. Nice <laughs> to meet you too. You know what? You really need to see my mom. That's okay. one person you need to see. She is one wonderful character you love to see. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. You can see that thing. Of course. And speaking of my mom, what's up with my mother's mother? How is she? How are you? She's perfectly okay. You have nothing to worry about. She's yeah. fine. She took her drugs yeah. before you left her? As okay. Alright, so <laughs> before I get back to you disturbing too, let me see my friend off, okay? <laughs> hey, 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 I don't want that mischievous gesture. I don't need it right that. Sorry. <laughs> bye, girls. <laughs> Alright, bye. Alright. Let's get it. Come your coffee. Alright, take care. Bye. So, brother, who is she to you? Who? Brother Jerry. So you want to play the ignorant game with us now? I don't understand. Who are you talking about? Oh. Oh. Okay, Jane. 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 Jane is um. She's just a friend. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Just that. Yes. Okay, Jenny. Yes. You know that my friend right now. Yeah, of course. The guy is seriously session. Yeah. You know what? He told me the kind of woman he desires. Mm -hmm. And from what I saw today, <laughs> Jane fits perfectly into that description. And maybe you should introduce the two of them. If I slap you. Uh -uh. No, if I slap two of you. What, 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 what do you mean by that? Brother, I, th I thought you just said she's just a friend. I uh -huh. what, what? I thought she's just a friend. Uh-huh, and so, and so? She's and different. so, I mean, how long have you known her for you to, 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 to know what she's all about? So now you two pimp girls now, huh? Hmm. Something wrong with two of you. Brother. Hey, in short, I'm not giving you people what I bought you. No, that's no, not No, 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 I cannot put into words the day I had. I mean, I could try. It was awesome. Overwhelming. It was phenomenal. You know, I've never spoken to that volume of crowd. There was a lot of people. But hey, the Holy Spirit, as always, came through for me. Gave me confidence, gave me boldness, and, and, and put words in my mouth. Hmm. Wow, wow, wow. I, mean, I must tell you, I am impressed. I am so, so impressed. Very, very exotic, rare gem. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Well, uh, will it be too much to ask, knowing that we're already friends? You know, let's stretch this a little bit more. And uh, permit me to say, um, I'd like to be your friend forever. I want to be your friend forever, too. 
You do? <laughs> okay, then, uh, my friend forever, let me not uh, stretch this too much this night and just wish you a good night's rest. Good night. I absolutely will. You too, okay? Bye. Have a nice one. Isaac, 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 if my assumption is true, I'll kill you, I'll kill you. <laughs> That's pretty for your mama. What's the meaning of this? Explain. I... I don't understand. Let me explain this to your dumb ass. It means you perforated the condom now and you're pregnant! I'm so sorry. I, I did it because I love you and wanted you for keeps at all costs. Baby, please now. I am sorry. Please. Baby, please forgive me and marry me. Are you mad? Bless you, don't decrease. Listen, I am not keeping this child. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. No. Look at this idiot. You, you get out! Ba baby, get out! Don't, no, you don't need to say, don't say that. Please, please come back! Hello, babes. What's up? I beg. What's the name of that doctor who entered that your stuff the other time? Why? What's it happen? You all flush toilet. Yes. Okay. Meet me for test salon. Okay. Okay. I they come now. If I in the next thirty minutes, you go see me. I they come now. Yeah. Now you serve me. Okay. Bye.
Oof. What's going on? She's with child. What are you talking about? She's with child. Who's with child? Excuse me. Emilia, I beg you in God's name, don't do it. Don't do what? You know what I'm talking about. You're pregnant. You're with child. And you're on your way to terminate. Hold it right there, Sister Mary Celeste. Jane, you have no right to decide for me what I do with my life. You have no right to poke your nose in my affairs. The last time I checked, this is Emilia's life, not yours. Goodness! Take a good look at me. I'm a beautiful, gorgeous, drop-dead diva. You didn't expect me to start nursing some useless child? Nah! That's clumsy, irritating and disgusting. I expect you to know that it is sinful to take a life. It is equally dangerous. Now you're beginning to... Something bad may happen to you in the process. Oh, now you're beginning to sound like our late mom. And that's annoying. You know what? You're beginning to disgust me right now. I'm not cut out for this bullshit. Amelia. Get the fuck off. Amelia. What is keeping the doctor? They relax. He's probably busy with other patients. gates of hell shall not prevail against the kingdom of light. In the name of Jesus, I take authority from the heavenlies and begin to nullify every satanic plot, every satanic orchestration, every gang up from the pit of hell, every plot that goes contrary to the wishes of the people of God. In the name of Jesus, be washed away by the precious blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus that washes us whiter than snow. Let the blood wash away every iniquity, every abomination on its way to happen. In the name of Jesus, because 
condemned you satanic agents manipulating human beings manipulating my sister in the name of Jesus Emilia I call forth your spirit not to do that which the Lord our God has frowned at in the name of Jesus Emilia I set you loose from the shackles of darkness in the name of Jesus Emilia I release you from the pit of hell in the name of Jesus I release you my sister from every satanic plot to maim and dent your image to dent your future to dent your destiny freely has the lord given us the fruit of the womb freely have we received and so the enemy cannot take it away from us in the name of Jesus. The enemy cannot take it away from us in the name of Jesus. Let God arise and make a name for himself. Let God arise and make a name for himself. In the name of Jesus, let God arise, let God arise, let God arise. For there shall be no condemnation amongst the people of God. For the Lord God has lifted us up. He has set our feet upon a solid rock to stand. And so Satan, you cannot manipulate our thoughts. You cannot manipulate our actions. Our steps are ordered of the Lord. Any contrary wish, any contrary plot that will lead to the doom of our destinies be reversed in the name of Jesus. 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 Okay. My body is doing me somehow. I'm feeling dizzy. I want to take a nap. Okay. No problem. It's a condition. Just relax. The doctor will be here anytime soon. Okay. Don't worry. It's a condition there. Not so long. The doctor will be here. As we pay our last respect to our beloved sister Emilia. We pray that God in his infinite wisdom grant her eternal peace and give the bereaved family the fortitude to bear their loss. And in this time, we are opportuned to examine our individual life and know if we're living right. Up now. It's our turn to see the doctor. Thank you. Amy, when you wake up, it's your turn to see the doctor. Amy, wake up! It's time to see the doctor. Who are you? What sort of question is that? It is me, Oge, your friend. No! You can never be my friend. You are not my friend. So, you want me to die so you can go and sleep with Isaac, right? Well, newsflash, I am not terminating this baby. What are you saying, Inoge? Your secret has been exposed. Snitches everywhere. Get out! No sense. Amy. Amy. Your will is the most perfect will for us. For you said in your word that you know the thoughts you have for us, thoughts of good and not of evil, thoughts that will bring us to our expected end. I key into your promises and I receive good news, news that gladdens my heart, news that proves that you answer prayers, news that say beyond every shadow. He will never let me down. He will never disappoint me. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. I couldn't do it. I was so afraid. Thank God. Thank God you didn't do it. 
because you shouldn't. I'm happy you didn't. God loves you. And what you need to do is ask God to take over your life completely. You need Jesus. Okay. I have done lots of terrible things that I am not proud of. I'm not worthy of God's presence. He hates me. He doesn't. Believe me when I say this, God loves you. He loves you more than you, you ever know. He loves you even more than you love yourself. Look at what he did for you today. God saved you from looming death. Only a lover could do that. He loves you. All you should do is ask him to come into your life and, and take absolute control. And he will. Let me lead you to Christ in prayers. Please. Okay. Okay. Say after me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Come into my life. Come into my life. And take absolute control of my life. And take absolute control of my life. Take away from me everything that does not serve you. Take away from me everything that does not serve you. In whatever form that I have been operating, take control. In whatever form I have been operating, take control. I break every covenant that I have entered into. I break every covenant that I have entered into. Knowingly or knowingly. Wash me clean. Wash me clean. Pure. You must be Jane. Yes, I am. Oh, <laughs> my dear, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. You look as beautiful as my son described. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, my dear. Hello. No doubt my son has made a good choice in you. I promise I will give the two of you the parental support needed to take your union to the next level. Oh, you are so sweet. Did you hear that? Good day, brother. Welcome, Jim. Hello. Mama. Yes, love. The table is set. Please come. Oh, that's good. Let's go over to the table then. Okay. Yes. <laughs> 
welcome. Oh, good day. Please come over to the table. Sis, you're sounding excited already. What's the good news? Let it out. You know I'm not good at guessing. He proposed to me. Sis, I'm so happy for you. You are blessed with the man who got your back. Sis, he says he will be coming to pay my bride price in two weeks' time. Wow! Sis, I'm happy for you. Believe me. So very soon, you're going to be Mrs. Jerry. <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> you're so funny. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, sis. I hope to be around on that great day. Oh, of course. You will. Everybody will be. Sis, you know my condition. These days, I'm usually very weak. But don't worry. I'll try. Thank you. God will see you true. In Jesus' powerful name. Amen. Amen. Okay, sis, I have to go now. Good night. So have a good night. Bye. <laughs> Sister Jane Albert, do you take Brother Jerry Ugokwe as a lawful wedded husband to love and to cherish in sickness and health? Till that do you part. I do. By the power vested on me by the Lord God Almighty, I declare the both of you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. And why? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Not only am I fine, I think, I honestly think I might be pregnant. Some weeks old. Oh my God! Look, I, 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 I wish I could just call off work, just just be with you, you know. I know. Oh my God! I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! God I love you. I love you. I love you. This I will. Way. I will visit Doctor Bell this morning to confirm the test of my Funny. Yeah. God, I wish I could just come off work right now and just come with you. Are you serious? I'm so ugly. I love you. I love you too. I love you. I love you. If you're good, I love you too. I love you too. Oh my God. I know the God I said, He will never let me down. He will never disappoint me. Yes, I know. The God I serve, He will never let me down. He will never disappoint me. He said, Go, I'm with you. You will make it. I'm your God. Don't be afraid. I'm your God. And I can never disappoint. Oh, He said, Go, I'm with you. He said, Go. I'm your God, wherever you are, I'm with you, and I will never disappoint. As far as my Redeemer lives, so do I live on. I died and rose with Christ. Though I 
affliction will rise against me. He is my unshakable foundation. He's my rock and my hiding place of. You are welcome, Mr. and Mrs. Bokwe. Thank you. Um, well, your test result is out. I have a good news and I also have a bad news. Bad news? What's the matter? Well, not really a bad news. I'm afraid you're not pregnant. What? I'm very sure. That's... That's, that's not possible. Because I, I still haven't seen my period. Stress, Mrs. Jerry. So, Doc, um, what's the good news? The good news is that she's medically fixed to have a child. Then why haven't I had this child since? Let me calm down. Let me calm down, please. Calm down. Doctor, thank you very much. Calm down. Okay, calm down. Um, thank you very much. We'll get back to you, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you, Doctor. It's alright. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my god, my wife is special. Baby! I mean, why would I stop eating my wife's food? Hmm? Why would I keep wanting my wife's food? I mean, it keeps getting better every single day. If I could, uh, trust me, uh, I'll take my wife's food outside the country, anywhere I'm traveling to. Man, baby, I mean, you do magic with food, like seriously. And babe, why are you not eating, babe? I'm not hungry. You're not hungry. I'll be upstairs in my room. I hope it's not because of what the doctor said. Come on. Don't do this to yourself. Everything will fall in place. Okay? Everything will fall in place. We're barely one year into this marriage. Exactly. Exactly, Jerry. It's been 10 months. Ten months since we got married. Yes. There's no news. From where I stand, it calls for serious concern. And it looks to me as though you're not perturbed in any way. Why would you say a thing like that? Come That's on. That's the way now. it looks. Come on. Why would you say a thing like that? Oh, look, sincerely, I, I think we are okay. I'm not complaining. I mean, like, look, there's nothing wrong. We're good. Okay, we're good, so relax. Stop this, okay? You will give birth at the right time and we will have very, very wonderful, beautiful babies because I'm handsome and you're one beautiful angel on earth. Honey, come on, do this. No, 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 no. just eat your food. Baby, baby, no. Put this down. Baby, I say no. Jerry. Come on. I don't want to. Honey, please. Oh, my taste buds need food. Come on, stop hey. this, baby, come on. Baby, come on. There you go. There you go. That's my queen. That's my girl. I mean, listen. We have babies, and you see, our girl, now, you have to teach her this. That's the first lesson you're going to teach her how to cook for daddy. Okay? You see, Daughter of a derailed witch. For how long will you tie my son from seeing the reality on the ground? I am not a witch. Oh, yes, you are! Why haven't you blessed me with a grandchild after five years of marriage? If you claim not to be, you barren witch. Why do you suddenly talk to me in this manner? When I have done nothing but love you, that's because you gave us a wrong impression about the real you. What? If you are as decent and chaste as you have pretended to be, 
for crying out loud while withholding a child from my son. Give my lineage a link. Hatred for me increases by the day. She calls me all sorts of names, which brings me to the big question Am I the only married woman? Who is yet to have a child? No, no, no. Am I? No, no, come on. Don't say that. Don't say that, please. Please. Look, my darling, I'm sorry, okay? I, I, on behalf of my mother, I'm sorry for everything meted at you. I am sorry. Still, I understand her fears. I mean, she's a woman who only has one son. Not an excuse. Not an excuse, but then... Look... All I can say is I'm sorry and I'll put a stop to it, okay? I'll make sure she doesn't unleash any ill treatment at you again. I'm sorry. I know. I'm really the sorry. God I said, <laughs> he will never let me down. He will never disappoint. I understand the situation, my dear. You're a virtuous woman. And I know you don't have hand in any circumstances that you're grappling with. Just be strong. Thank you. Thank you so much. I am content knowing that you are on my side. It's okay, my dear. I believe in you and the chastity that your life emits. God will definitely visit you at his own time. Of course. Okay? He will. That's the spirit. Just believe. Thank you again. The God I said, He will never let me down. Hello? Yes, this is she. Shall we make a toast? So why not? What are we toasting to? To um Babies. Babies. Many babies. Many babies. <laughs> what does you have? Many babies. Many babies. I, I love. know. Many babies. Oh my god. Mm. No, seriously, I'm happy for her, man. I wow. am too. Wow. Twins. It's true what they say of God after all. Yeah. 
It's the God of many chances. Of course, of course. I mean, if you judge Emilia's situation from a human perspective, one would say that she's undeserving of mm. the blessings that just came her mm -hmm. way. But because God is real, yes, yes. And he just keeps giving people second chances. Emilia. Emilia has twins. Twins. Not just one, babe. No, I'm happy for her. Two. 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 Let's just take it. Wow, let's just start again. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, I'm happy for her. I'm happy for her. Mom, looking at the whole thing, I don't think anyone would want to be called a second wife. I mean, not in this age, except a gold digger, of course. Break it down. What I'm saying is that it's only a naive girl from the village that would jump into marriage with Brother Jerry. You're right, my daughter. I've been thinking about it. Do you want to take a trip down to the village? Of course, Mom. So let's get prepared. We are going tomorrow. I'm surprised and disappointed. I mean, how could you? Can you be so cruel? You both are sitting and discussing on how to unseat your fellow woman in her matrimonial home. Even you, Hamoni. You're supposed to be harmonizing this home. But no, mind how you talk to me. I am your elder sister. For your information, I have done nothing wrong. I'm only looking out for my brother who has been blinded by his infatuation for Jane. Jennifer, I doubt if it's my blood running in you. How dare you open your mouth to blood rubbish? For five years, five good years, no issue. For five years, marriage of five years, no issue. Is either something is wrong with Jane or something is wrong with Jerry? Exactly. I want to prove that my son is okay. You are a woman. Someday you will get married. Just not to that. Are you sure you're okay, Sister Jane? Yes. Why do you ask? Because I'm having this persistent witness in my spirit that you're beset by something, but I, I can't figure it out. I'm absolutely fine. Well, I, I know how overwhelming it could be handling early marriage. You know, I've been there before. I am absolutely fine. And even if there were to be a problem, it's not one that I cannot deal with. Be rest assured that I'll always come to you whenever the need arises. Okay. If you insist, let me pray for you. I pray for you. I declare the blessings of the Lord upon you. Amen. Lines shall fall in pleasant places for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Everything you lay your hands to do shall be prospering in Jesus' name. Amen. It shall be well with you in every of your dealings in Jesus' name. Amen. I decree peace all over all your dealings in Jesus' name. <clears throat> Jerry. Her name is Uju. Ujumwa. The daughter of Okeke. You know him, that man from our village. I brought her for you. I've been watching her from her childhood. I know a day like this will come and I'll bring her. Hmm? Obian Uju is a virgin. She will have plenty of children. I am okay. I am one. We have concluded all the marriage rights. Hmm? We do one. Hey, 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 stop, stop, stop this. Stop. <laughs> you see this? Your interference in my marriage. I've had it. OK? 
Okay? I can't condone it anymore. It has to stop. She is the best woman for you. What do you mean to put here? Mommy, feel at home. And this shot. Please hold it right there. You. Listen, okay? Listen to me. You see this woman here? This is my wife. The wife God gave me. My legally married wife, okay? This is my wife. There's no space for you here. There's no space for you in my life or the afterlife. You made a huge mistake coming here and you should be ashamed of yourself. You better be single than married to this barren woman. You are not greeting. Take a name of my Lord, Dickie. Look out here! Are you stupid? Come get out here! Are you stupid? Tell me! Get out here! Get out! Tell me! Please! Get out here, you man! Tell Sometimes I cry, I cry. Sometimes I weep. Get out of here! 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 Why am I sending you away? Listen, if you don't take time, you also leave this house. You understand? You will leave this house. No, no, br br bring her in. Bring her in. Bless me, Lord. Bless me, Lord. Bless me. Show me your mercy. Wipe my tear with the gift of a child. I know you. You are God all by yourself. You, you are the same today, tomorrow, and forever. You, you change it not. And again, you are also the unchangeable changer. I know you. I know the things you do. Your works are always wondrous in our eyes. You created the earth. You created man, the birds of the air, animals, and you gave commands that we go out there and prosper, procreate, dominate. I, I want to procreate, I want to dominate. Do unto me like you, you, you did for Elizabeth. Elizabeth of the old, she cried unto you. And you gave her John the Baptist. Even Anna. You gave Anna and Abraham at old age. You gave them. Give me. Give, give me mine. Give me mine. I deserve it. For I know who I am. I am a daughter of the vineyard. I serve in the kingdom. I am of a royal priesthood. I deserve it. Have mercy upon me. Look upon me with mercy and show yourself strong and mighty in my situation. I beg you. I beg you. I am a bringer of joy. Where is my joy? Give me my joy. My strength is starting to fail me. Show, show me, show me that you can hear me. Show me that you know me. Show me that you love me. Give me my, my, my. Give me my children, for I know that you can, you can. Today is nothing too hard for you to do. That you will make a way in the wilderness and waters to, to run through the days. That is your word. That is your word. That is your word. <laughs>
children. Give me children. Give me children. Give me. Give me children. Change. The situation is getting out of hand. And we need to do something fast. What would you have me do, Jennifer? I have done all that is within my powers to do. And I have since left everything in the hands of God. God? Yes. What are you even talking about? Heaven help those who help themselves. I don't understand. The kingdom of God suffered violence, and only the strong take it by force. So? So we need to go and see a spiritualist. A what? Where do you really stand? The other day you were talking about God. And now you want me to see a spiritualist. CJ, you can't put all your eggs in one basket. Even God in heaven knows that. That's why he said we should do all things. Listen to me. I will never, ever visit a spiritualist. You hear me? In God's time, my miracle will come forth. And you desist from misquoting and misinterpreting the word of God. I'm only trying to help. But it's fine. It's fine. You remember what tonight is, right? Yes, of course I remember. Night of Wonders with Dr. Mrs. That's That's right. Told me. That's right. <laughs> of course I know that. I can't wait. I honestly cannot wait. I have waited for a night like this. It's finally happening. That woman is a relationship expert. Well, the thing is that my wife is just into everything women. It's either it's women empowerment today, mm -hmm. a women's conference tomorrow, women's leadership, and today is a night of bliss with Why you sound like that's a bad thing? Is that a bad thing? Yeah. <laughs> Say whatever. I'm excited for tonight. I know. Mm -hmm. Bless me, Lord. Bless me, Lord. Bless me. Show me your... No, seriously, you look good. You really look good. I mean, you're doing well for yourself, man. I saw your records, man. You're really blazing, man. Ah! No, 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 no. My guy, my guy, my guy. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Man, I'm proud of you. It is the Lord's doing. Of course. And always wonderful in our sights. I'm telling you. So when did you get back into the country? Two days ago. Two days ago. Wow, wow, to set up another record, eh? <laughs> ah, bad guy. Bad guy. So I a family. Oh, well, we're good. My wife is good. I mean, we thank God. We thank God. That's great. Thank God. That's great. I mean, I must commend your effort in your father's company. You have really taken it to a higher level. What can we do? What can we do? I mean, we just have to keep representing, you know, keeping that flag flying high, eh? Yeah, of course. So, um, <clears throat> what's the plan for the weekend? I mean, thank God it's Friday. I'm here to walk and go. Well, uh, my wife uh, will be out all night, and uh, I've got nothing really planned. Out. Perfect time. So, we hit the club. Yeah, life is only but once, you know. Uh, there are other ways to enjoy and rock this life, trust me. Speaking of the club, you know, it's been a long time this man had that kind of heat. 
I wouldn't be surprised regarding the kind of wife you married. Hey, 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 leave my wife out of this. You know, for that, for that, we're going to the club. We are going to the club. That's my man. Uh -huh. That's my man. <laughs> Cheers to it. Cheers to that. Yeah, yeah. It's a club as well, of course. Yeah. Now you've been crushing on me and my body, hot body. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Do you want to see what's inside of the flavor of it? Come on, we can show you. You want to show me? Of course, yes. I'm ready to show you, boy. Seriously, I met this guy in the club the other day and he's so cute, he's so handsome, like it's everything I've ever dreamed of in a man and his personality is wow, like he's cute. <laughs> okay, Sonia, skip this part. Mm? I want to hear the interesting part. Mm -hmm. That part that is making you this excited. <laughs> Girl, come on, just me now. Judy, you asked for it. I asked for it, yes, please tell me. I want to hear this. Tell me. Well, 
I I don't know, but all I can remember right now is that mm -hmm. there was something cordial between us. There was this strong connection, connection. when we met, and um, just like an Asian thing, you know. Mm -hmm. And then we <clears throat> uh, we ended up in a club toilet. Toilet? Shh. Look, it's so embarrassing. The date has been done. I am so ashamed. Oh, ashamed of it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ross, get the shame. And I just see something that I What are you saying? See, <laughs> the most interesting part about this uh -huh. guy is that. Ah, it's a big deal. A big deal? I'm telling you, it's everything I've ever dreamed of in my mind. Oh, I understand it. He's like, what fell me to describe this guy? This guy is it's a big deal. I know. I understand it. <laughs> Bad <laughs> I know I'm bad, but you are the baddest. I'm still learning from you, like I'm God. Oh my God! Oh my God, man! That, kid, that girl is crazy. That girl is crazy. No, I'm, I'm telling you, man, 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 look, the things she did to me. I don't know. See, those things only happen in, in, in porn movies. Ah, that girl is crazy. No, 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 no. Ah! She, 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 she noticed. Yeah, she did. She looked it. Uh, but I hope you weren't carried away not to protect yourself. Oh yes, I I I did. I did, but um oh, what? Uh, but I you know in oh, what? The, you know, in the course of you know action the the, the condom tore. You serious? Yes. We <sighs> really need to run some tests. Yeah, yeah, seriously, I do because uh, you see, all these one night stands are the ones that you know get people into trouble, you know? Tell you, tell you. You just need to run some tests. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the girl was, she was cool, you know? She was slim, you know? I know the kind of ladies you used to like those yeah, days. Forget about that, please. I, I, I need to think about my life right now. I don't know if this girl has, you know. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Is this good? I don't know. I don't know really. It looks as... <laughs> Thank you. Scratch that. Ah. Clearly he's scared. He's good, but he's up to something. I don't trust him that much. So familiar. Yeah, yeah. Are you there now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hello. Hello, my sweet baby. Oh, who's this? Ah, it's me, your baby, Sonia. I was thinking about you throughout today and you know the way you gave to me yesterday was hard and I was actually thinking maybe we could have a recap. You know I want more of you so that you could give it to me again. Well, 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 well. Um, speaking of which, I, I think the conference has already been. Uh, Let's get Yeah, it. yeah. The conference has already been detailed for next week. However, we must understand that. What? What is wrong with you? Did I not tell you I'm a married man? 
it was just a one night thing. Didn't you see my wedding ring? Listen, I love my wife. Don't come in between us. Hello? Hello? You are my priority for now, Mr. Jerry Ukogwe. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. to take me to Bellerina hotels to spoil me and the sweetest part is that he said I can come with my girlfriends because his friends just came from Spain and they need girls tonight for a party for a pool party girl I just called Amarachi and Bella and they said they are gay so girl get up go dress up it's gonna be fun <laughs> I'm not interested Come on, girl. Don't be a party pooper. It's gonna be fun. Trust me. I'm sorry. I'm not interested. I just want to be indoor for now. Please. Now you're getting me worried. Because I don't know you to be that type that can turn down such a juicy offer. What's going on? Judith. I've not been feeling well lately. Plus... Mr. Jerry is not picking up my calls. It's, it's quite worrisome. No, Sonia. You are a drama queen. Yes, you are. Like, are you serious? You're turning down my offer because Jerry refused to pick your calls? Are you for real? <laughs> Excuse me. Judith, did you not hear when I said I'm not feeling well? Hey, Judith. Wait, like seriously? You and I know I will not turn you down if the table were turned around. Ha! Judy, it's not like that. I'm not just feeling too well. Please. No, it's, it's fine. It's okay. I am going to look for an opportunity for revenge. And trust me, that revenge is going to be so hard on you. Trust me, you see. We used to be deeply in love with each other. And all of a sudden, you changed. You don't pick my calls anymore. And you don't even want to see me. I have been here for the past how many minutes. And you wouldn't talk to me. What have I done to you? Sweet. I've told you I'm no longer interested in doing runs. Can you please leave my house? What? Are you asking me to leave your house? Yes. Except you want me to show you the way which you will not like it. It's okay. No problem, I will leave. I know you will call my line when you get broke. 
but I promise to give you the shock of your life. You're not getting a dime from me anymore. And today. Hey, hey, hey. This is the height of it. Come on. Is that of place? Because I know how much you love this smith. And don't tell me you're breaking up with him because of that, Mr. Jerry. Someone you barely know. Someone who has refused to pick your calls. Huh. You are pregnant? Yes. You know I've not been feeling too well. I went to the hospital and now this is a test result. You're pregnant for who? So, Mr. Jerry is responsible for the pregnancy. Is that what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> Sorry to ask. We are Ron's girls. So, how are you so sure Mr. Jerry is responsible? Don't insult me, Judith. I'm not a child. I have told you the robber busted while we were making love. Don't get me wrong. You told me that you sleep with your boyfriend, Smith, without protections. So, just for you to understand me, Judith. Okay. Since I met with Jerry, I have not allowed any man to come close to me, not even Smith, which you know yet. <laughs> oh, I see. So what are we going to do about it? How do you mean? Because he has made it clear to you that he doesn't want to have anything to do with you anymore. And that is why he has refused to pick your calls ever since then. And like you said, he is a married man. Yes. So I'm thinking you should terminate the pregnancy. For the opting time, please let my wife be. Let us be. My wife will get pregnant as I when do. She will conceive as I when do. Yes. Okay, yes. I mean, after all, the doctors have certified us fit. Yes. You better stop deceiving yourself. If those doctors told you the truth, how come you're still childless after six years? How come? What can them? Better make hay while the sun still shines on you. And stop wasting your youthfulness on that barren woman. Do you respect I'll tell you to stop it again, please? That's my wife we're talking about here. I'll not take you talking about her with such malicious content, please. I won't take it. You won't take it? No, I won't. You won't take it? I won't. Now, give me. I'm telling you the truth or telling me you won't take it. Now, tell me, if I didn't hurt you for your father, who will inherit his chance of business enterprise? Who? I'm asking you! I'm not my duty! You don't need to barge in like that! I'm sorry, sir. I, I, I tried to stop her. I better I'll handle this. Thank you, sir. What do you want? Why have you been avoiding my calls? Like I said, what do you want? I don't understand. 
I will make you understand. That is the result of what we did behind closed toilets. You came inside me and now I am pregnant. Yes. A stupid gold digging tent where she didn't sew. Have you slowed down to think about this? She is not lying. I am a woman. I will tell when a woman is lying or telling the truth. Well, I, I, I don't care. But one thing I know for sure is that I'm not marrying that girl. I have a wife. I'm not marrying anybody else apart from my wife. You will. I will me. not. You will. I will not do it. You will. There's no way I will do anything like that. What is going on here? I could hear your voices all the way outside. Mom? Something wrong, baby? My son, my my son has just proven to be a real man. Of course he's a man. Yeah. A very fragile woman is pregnant for him. Look, look, I mean, you, of course you know mom when she's in that mood, honey. honey what listen. what did she honey, said? Honey, honey, listen, can we just talk? Jerry, what was it I honey, heard her say? This is your husband. Can we just talk again? Yeah. Yeah, please. Just. You did this. Jerry, after all this time, you this is what you do no, to no, me? No, 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 honey, honey, please. I, look, look. Look, the truth of the matter is, uh, look, I, 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 I don't know. J just forgive me, baby. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I should forgive you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please. You want me to forgive you, Jerry? Honey, please. Jerry, if, if you were desperate, so much so that you wanted a child outside wedlock. The right thing to do was to discuss it with me. No, no. Instead of just going out there and randomly getting any girl no, pregnant. No, 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 it wasn't like that. No, no, no. It's, it's, honey, honey, I, 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 I know we my, 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 my sound cliche, but, but the truth of the matter is, I, I, I was drunk and, and I wasn't in control of the true me. I wasn't in control of my senses, you know, like, I, I wasn't in control of things and, 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 and it happened, you, you know? I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my God, you, you, you are unbelievable. You, you, you were drunk. You were drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm guessing that that that's the point where I gave you some empathy for being drunk. You blame you shot coming on being drunk. Oh, okay, okay, let's talk about being drunk, huh? Were you not drunk when you carefully drove home? You, you, you have to give me something to Jerry say. Say, say what I, say what makes sense because you were not so drunk when you fell into her thighs. You fell into her thighs, Jerry. And you say you're sorry. I don't believe this is you, Jerry. You just get out. Get, get out right now. I want you to go. I'm not kidding. Get out. Get out. Jerry, get out now. I want you out. Go. Go. Honey, I'm sorry. <laughs> this, this is not me. I mean, you know, you know, this is not me. This is not me. My character. This is not me. You know, I couldn't have done. I mean, I, 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 I love I you. I want you to go. Honey, go, Jerry, please. Go. 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 Get out! Jerry, get out! Go! Sometimes I 
Sometimes I weep. It's just one prayer, but I'm asking God to give me my life. Yes, I'm beside him, I'm your God. I dedicate my life to you. There's nothing impossible for you, God. So God, bless me, God, no, 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 no. Show me a child. Bless me, Bless me, He took me out in. We went to the cinema. After which we went to his hotel room. We had good times together. And which he paid me handsomely. Babe, 100,000 Naira. Babe. Did you hear a word of what I just said? Babe, you're crying. What is it? Why are you crying? Babe, talk to me now. Why are you crying? Babe, you're crying. What is it? I went to see Mr. Jerry in his office. He denied me in front of his mother. He said he does not know me or have anything to do with me. I'm so sorry, baby. But is that why you're crying? Like, seriously? Is this not enough for me to cry? That the man I am pregnant for deny knowing me or have anything to do with me? Is that not enough? Hold on, Sonia. What do you expect the poor guy to do? No, from what you told me, you guys only met once. You had good times together, which you parted ways. So what do you expect him to do? What he's doing now is normal. Like every other responsible guy out there would want to save his marriage, just like Mr. Jerry. And that is why you need to take my advice to terminate the pregnancy before it's too late for you. Yes. You are so wrong, Judith. Having pregnant for someone like Jerry is the best thing that can happen to any woman in my position. Oh, wow. Yes. I think I need to go and see my mother. I need to talk to someone who can understand me because at the look of things, you do not understand me. My whole life is a mess right now. I shouldn't have listened to you the day you said we should go to that club. Now look at what I'm going through. Come on, man. Stop making it sound that bad. He's not. Stop sounding like a broken record. She's only carrying your child. Yes, you should be celebrating and not apportioning blame. Excuse me? Excuse me? Listen, I am married, okay? Married. Married man who couldn't hold his sexual urge. Now, coming from you, that's an insult. I'm not insulting you. No, don't see that way, I'm not. But the truth is that you are on your way to fatherhood. I mean, you should be thanking me for that night. I suggest you conjugate it by bringing her into your home as your second wife. <laughs> you know, I came here thinking I had a friend to talk to. But right now, all I see I'm with is somebody who sounds like my mother. I'll see you around. Jerry? Come on, Jerry, we're not done. Jerry? Good morning. Good morning, Mom. 
Keep your greetings. Give me Sonia's phone number. Sonia's phone number? For what? No blood of the Gukwes is raised outside. The child Sonia is carrying is Ugukwe's and can never be raised outside Ugukwe's family. Mother, what are you insinuating? What are you really insinuating? You see that girl? That girl will not step her foot into this house. Really? Yes, really, mom. Give me Sonia's phone number, else you will not step outside this house. Hi! I am so disappointed at you. How can you sleep with a man you barely know without protection? Hi! What if he had given you killer disease instead? Look, Sonia, you must go and get rid of this bastard. Yes, so oh. you must. Hey! Hello. Hello, my daughter. This is Jerry's mother. How are you? Please, my dear. Don't mind my son. I want you to know. I am solidly behind you, okay? Don't worry, if there's anything you need, let me know. I just want you to eat very well so my grandchild will grow big. Don't fail to tell me anything you need, I'll do it for you. You're carrying the child of the Gukwes. We'll come and meet your parents and we'll marry you. Bye. And who are you talking with? Jerry's mom. Who is Jerry? Jerry is the CEO of Ukokwe Business Enterprise. The CEO of Ukokwe Enterprise. Is it the Ukokwe I know? The multi family. CEO. Adanya. You mean the Gokwe? I know Abi. Gokwe Enterprise. The big Minonia. It's okay. I oh, have away your tears. It's okay, my daughter. And did I say you are going to abort the baby? Hey! What was I thinking? For what? You are not going to abort any baby. Hmm? Oh my. Stop crying. Oh, it's okay, baby. Oh, that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's all your fault, Jen. You shouldn't have made the mistake of letting him out of your sight when you know he was sitting on a keg of gunpowder. 
Excuse me? Are you in any way trying to blame me for Jerry's undoing? Because I don't get it. Should I have tied him with a rope and stuffed him into my handbag and carried him everywhere it is that I go just to ensure he gets up to no good? You need to tell me. Some, somebody should say something that makes sense at this point. Because, because from where I, from where I stand, this is a trying period for me and my household. This is a big temptation for my marriage. And I depend on God. I rely on God to heal my heart. Because my heart is hurting. The pain, the pain inside my heart. The pain, the pain, my heart is broken. Holy Spirit. This pain is tearing me. It's alright. It's alright, darling. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you go on here, my heart? It's okay. Save me from this temptation. Please, God. Please. I, 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 I don't know whatever it is. I, 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 I'm not party to this, you understand me? I'm, I'm not responsible for it. It's all a lie. It's a lie. She's lying. Everybody, it's all a lie. Not after the DNA. I saw the truth in her eyes. Congratulations, son. The earlier we start planning for our bride price, the better. There's going to be any bride price. It's you who will be paying that bride price, okay? So I should be congratulating you because you're going to marry her for yourself. I have a wife. I have one woman I'm married to, and that woman is in this house. You understand me? I'm not marrying any other person but my own wife. It's impossible. I'm not, it's not possible. You know what I'm capable of doing? Damn. Let me even ask you this question. Why do you want to keep this baby so badly? I mean, have you paused for a second to ask yourself this fact? In case Mr. Jerry end up abandoning you, how do you intend to cater for this child? What would you do? Honestly, I don't know. I just know that having a baby for such a man as Mr. Jerry will bring light to my foundation. And I have always dreamed of stopping this life of runs. And I hope meeting Mr. Jerry will grant me that wish. Nice one. I tap from your face, my sister. I mean, I just hope it works. You did. You know, you've, you've been my best friend. In time like this, we get to know who is our dear friend. And you've, you've proven me right that you're my best friend. Come on. Stop it. My God will bless you. 
Amen. And you know you would do the same for me if I were in your shoes. Stop. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Sorry, I had to come in without being invited. You see, Sonia, I've missed you so much. I've missed everything that we shared together. Judith, please, can you tell this guy to leave my life alone? Okay, Smith, Sonia is pregnant for a guy she wants to be with. So I would like advise you go and never come back. Okay? Pregnant? <sighs> Honey, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Look, <laughs> look. I wish, I wish I could just, you know, you know, turn back the hands of time and, and you know, let all of this just, just wash away, erase off memories. Please forgive me, please. I forgive you. I mean. You are a man, and so you behaved like a typical man. For what it's worth, you finally have what you always wanted. I mean, your potency has been proven. Hmm. That said, I, I, I think it's time to stop fighting this. I think you should listen to your mom because she's right this time around. Huh? Huh? Are you? I, I, are you saying I, I, I bring in someone into this house, into your home? Is that what you're saying? She's not just anyone. She is carrying your child. And, and it makes sense that she stays close. for real or you're just being sarcastic as much as this hurts it's the right thing to do
I will eat it. family. Say, God will give you joy and happiness in your marriage. He say, you will give birth to children that will not cause trouble for he you. Say, you will give birth to twins. He say, and that is my joy. What's the meaning of this? Wait. Are you the one who served my food? Huh? Yes. When did I start? Where's my wife? Jane is busy in the kitchen. Jane is busy in the kitchen. The infantry. Temerity. You call my wife by her name. Jane is busy in the kitchen. Now listen here. For emphasis, that woman is my wife. You understand? And this will be the very last time you will ever touch my food, like try to even serve it. Now get this rubbish out of here! Starting with that! Like quick! 
Hey, come back here. Come, come back here. Now, this will be the very last time you dress like a retired prostitute in this house. People dress decently. If you try this again, that will be the last night you will spend in this house. Now, get out. Like, bounce! Like, get the step in. Ma, you called me. Stop. Thank you. So, tell me, has he ever touched you? No. He hasn't. He hates me. It doesn't even touch the food I serve him, even when I'm not the one that prepared it. Ma, please look at me. Is there anything wrong with me? No. Am I not beautiful? Oh, come on. Don't say that. Don't say that. Oh, come on, don't say that. <laughs> Just that sometimes my son can be head headed. You just have to keep keeping on. He will come around someday. You're beautiful. <laughs> Nothing is wrong with you, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much, Ma. Information reaching me that you have not been living up to your conjugal responsibility to Sonia. Why? Mom, I don't think this is the right place or venue to discuss this, but to answer you correctly, that's because Sonia is not my wife. The only wife I have recognized by God is here with me, and her name is Jane. Let me break this to you. The only wife I recognize is Sonia. I don't want to receive any complaint of my treatment again. Else, I will force you to resign as the director of Ukukwe Diamond Enterprise. What? What? You can't do that, Mom. Try me. Sometimes I cry. This whole situation is beyond me. I wonder why you kept it all away from me. You almost made the Holy Spirit a liar. Because it kept on impressing it in my spirit that you're troubled. 
I thought I could handle it alone. I'm sorry. What then is my job? In times like this, what you need is the word of God in your spirit man. And a man of God to give you the word of God. So I have lived right all my life. I have always hated evil. Why should this beset me? I understand. But let me tell you something. All things work for good together to them that believe God and to them that are called according to the purpose of God including the bad thing in your love for the things of God, which is unquestionable as it is undoubtable. Righteousness pays. And the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 54 verse 1, let's read. Yes. Jerusalem, you have been like a childless woman. But now you can sing and shout for joy. Now you will have more children than a woman whose husband never left. Make the tent you live in larger. Lengthen its rope and strengthen the pegs. You will extend your boundaries on all sides. Your people will not will get back the land that other nations now occupy. Cities now deserted will be we will be filled with people. Do not be afraid. You will not be disgraced again. Say amen. You will not be humiliated again. You will forget your unfaithfulness as a young wife and your desperate loneliness as a widow. Your creator will be like a husband to you. The Lord Almighty in his name the Holy God of Israel will save you. He is the ruler of all the world. Praise the Lord. In situations like this, you don't need to be scared. You don't need to be disturbed. All you need is the word of God. And you, as I know, Sister Jane, God loves you more than what you think. Just always know who you are, a praiser. A praiser you are to bring the anointing of the Lord God Almighty down. Let me pray for you. In Jesus' name. Lord, I bless you for your Bless me, Lord. Bless me, Lord. Bless me. Show me. Listen, there are ways to this, okay? Look, look, listen to me. I've already given you a book, I've already shown you the principles of everything. Make your own research, get your referrals done properly. Listen, the mistake you make is forgetting that there are customers and they know what they want. In real estate, when a customer comes out of his car or her car and looks at the property, within eight seconds, the customer decides, yes, this is what I want. So you have to do this your same way. Listen, this, this, your same way, when I mean your same way is what I told you, your same way, that means you should assume the position of the customer. Yes, get out of yourself what you think you like and get into the shoes of the customer. That way you will understand what the person actually wants. Yes, and what? Hello? What do you think you're doing? Cleaning. You're cleaning what? What you have to do is clean up your mindset, you understand me? I don't care whatever lifestyle you have lived out there. Here is a different principle. There are certain things and ways we live here and we must abide to because I say so, which are the right things to do. You understand me? You can't be here doing what? What do you think you're doing? Trying to seduce me? You're wearing that short thing with your protruding stomach? You think that's sexy? Do you think that's going to seduce me? Something that is more protruding than what is behind? What are you talking about? What do you think you're doing? Huh? Listen, I've seen women. You understand? I've seen women and I have a very beautiful one in my house to note. You understand? So what I need you to do right now is get out of my sight. You are distracting me and the meeting I'm having right now on phone. I'm sorry. 
not needed. Keep moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My brother, no, 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 no. It's just one set of fly that you feel into this house. Like I was saying. anymore. I am going back to my father's house. I can't. The necklace from the man whose child I carry is too much for me to bear. He doesn't care if I exist or this child exists, Mama. Sit down. Sit down. It's okay. I understand how you feel. That is why I am here for you. He doesn't have a choice than to love you. Whether he likes it or not, you are his wife. And you're carrying his unborn child. Don't worry. He will come around. Okay? Mama, all I'm asking is for him to love me, please. Let him just accept me for who I am. That's all I'm asking. Okay, stop crying. He's going to come around. Sometimes I cry. Where are you off to? I'm taking my wife to the salon. Yeah. Is something wrong with you? You're taking your wife to the salon while your fatal wife is here waiting to be taken to the hospital for antenatal. Mother, seriously, I don't like the angle this conversation is going, okay? I mean, we have other drivers here that can take her to anywhere she wants to go. What is all this? Did they get her pregnant? Don't upset me! I'm not enjoying this really. I'm, I'm not, I'm really not enjoying this. I said don't upset me. What I did to deserve this from you. I am not asking you to love me, Jerry. But what about your child that I carry? Doesn't he deserve father's love and care? Have you transferred the hatred you have for me to what your own? Unborn child? Jerry. Jerry, please. Please, I beg you. Jerry, this is a critical moment for me and your unborn child. Please. Okay. Have you thought of this? What if we don't make it out of the theater? What if we don't come out? Jerry, please. For this child's sake, please, I beg you. Please have mercy. Whatever I've done wrong, forgive me. I am truly sorry from my heart. Please, 
Please, I beg you, Jerry. Have mercy, if not for me. For the sake of this innocent child, please, Jerry. Have mercy, please, I beg you. Jerry, please, please. Just say please. Please help us. Mr. Gokwe, it is advisable at this point of her pregnancy that you meet up with your conjugal responsibility to her. Please, your child needs that bond. Mr. Gokwe, it is advisable at this point of her pregnancy that you meet up with your conjugal responsibility to her. Please, your child needs that bond. Um, um, I'm going to spend the rest of the night in Sonia's room. you start sleeping in her room? Um, honey, please, let's not um, take this there. Let's not go that direction. I mean, she's having my child. I mean, let's be fair. Help me, help me, Holy Spirit of God, help me. With a gift of a child. Oh, my Father in heaven. You promised that anyone that serves in your vineyard will not be put to shame. I have worked, I have served in your vineyard, God, all my life. Remember me. Remember me and bless me. Bless me with the fruit of the womb. Bless me with my own child. Please. Please. Show me your mercy. With a gift of a child. Oh. 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 Oh.
already there. We're 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 already Sorry, eh? sorry, my love. Sorry, 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 sorry. Please, please, just take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Just one step, one step, one step. Okay, you're there. You're there. You're there. You're there already. You're there. You're there. You're there. You're there. Sorry, dear. Sorry. It's just one prayer point in my skin. Lord, give me my own time. Wow. In service, I have served you, God. I've been the key to my life for you. Life. Oh, life. there's nothing impossible for you, God. So I'm asking, bless me now. Oh, bless me now. Bless me now. Bless me. Show me your mercy. I baby in this household at this time. Amen. Only you can do these things. Amen. Only you. Look at your daughter. She's so cute. <laughs> Hello, uh, we baby. thank God. We thank God. Oh my God. Look at your good You are here. My dear, just rest then. Mom. Yes, ma'am. Mike said he's coming with his people for the introduction. Um, he shows next week Saturday, being 23rd, I think. <laughs> you mean he's coming with his people for introduction? Yes, mom. Inokwa. <laughs> Look at my baby girl is getting married. <laughs> <laughs> well, next week Saturday. Well, that's fine. That's okay. Really? Yes. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Have you told your brother? Not yet, Mom. But I intend doing that as soon as he comes back. You work. intend doing that? You better tell your brother. Okay, Mom. I will do that. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Some 
Sometimes I cry. Sometimes I weep. It's just one prayer point in me asking, Lord, give me my own time. Wow. In service, I have served you, God. This one we're taking pills. Are you sure you're okay? <laughs> Slight headache. Have you gone for tests? Hmm? It's not that serious. Excuse me. Pretty sure it's all those seminars and lectures that has had me occupied these past weeks. Yeah. I mean, you have to go see the uh, Are you serious? Yes. Hello, Hello everybody. Welcome. Yeah. Hi, baby. Hello. Hello. You didn't tell me your wife wasn't for me coming. What? 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 Of course. Who can drop this statement? Huh? It's just a slight headache. Nothing more than that. And you, you are magnifying the situation right now. Stop it. So that if it's a slight headache, she won't be taking all this. Huh? So, no, no, you know what? We're going to the hospital. Like right now, please. Honestly, yeah. No, honest, honestly, we have to go. Please don't argue with me. We have to go. Please. Yeah. You don't need the bag. Bless me, Lord, bless me, Lord. Show me your mercy. Wipe my tears. Doctor, I am so sorry I kept you waiting. You're welcome, It was hard to get out of my office. Many people wanted to see me. I understand. Has it been a long time you've been waiting? Uh, not really. Just what you were just a why. I'm so sorry. No like you know, I, I have a phobia for hospitals. That's why I requested that we meet here. All right, no problem. You don't mind, that. do you? I don't mind. Okay. So what do you have for me? Well, I conducted some tests on you. But I discovered that you are six weeks pregnant. Yes. It, it, what? It, this was pretty mad. I can take a look. Yeah, I personally conducted it myself to be sure that there is no mistake. Yes. Congratulations. Finally, God has answered your prayer. Are you saying that I... This is, this is not a dream, is it? No. It's not? It's not. Oh my God. I know <laughs> the God I said He will never let me down He will never disappoint me Yes, I know the God I serve. He will never let me down. He will never disappoint me. He said, Go, I'm with you. You will make it. I'm your God. Don't be afraid. I'm your God. And I can never disappoint. Oh, He said, Go. I'm with you, he said go, I'm your God, wherever you are, I'm with you, and I will never disappoint, as far as my Redeemer living, so do I, live on. I died and rose with Christ, no affliction will rise against me, he is my unshakable foundation, Ah, uh, you see, I know this. Look, it's neither here nor there, so... I have news. News? Yeah. From? 
Oh gosh. I don't even know how I'm feeling. Okay, now my heart is beating. Yeah, seriously, I... The test results? I hope it's not bad news because you know me and bad news don't go well together. So, according to Dr. Ben, I'm pregnant. Six weeks gone as is written. Yes! <laughs> I knew you were gonna do it. I knew I knew it. Yes! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I knew you were going to do it. I knew why you got us done it. You're pregnant. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Mama has to hear this. No, no, no. Mother has to hear this. She has to hear this. Where's she? Where's she? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's always in the garden. Mother! Mama! The God I sang. He will never let me down. He will never disappoint me. Yes, I know. My daughter. <laughs> You're my daughter. I want to apologize for the way I've been treating you in this house. I am sorry. Jerry. Jerry lost his father, my husband, at a very tender age. His father also lost his own father the same age. I was scared. I was scared there could be untimely death in the lineage. That was my desperation for a grandchild. Please forgive me. Because it's okay. I forgive you. And I completely understand. I forgive you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Listen, Mom. As far as this family is concerned, there is no such thing as untimely death anymore. Jerry will leave to see his children and his children's children and his children's children children because we're blessed thank you you're welcome you're such a good woman you have proven me wrong thank you you're welcome mom well, I oh mom <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. I'm with you and I will never disappoint as far as my redeemer. Amelia, I am so surprised. I never knew you could abandon me. Jane, it's not like that. Mm -hmm. Look, it's been so hard on me in my marital life. You know, I entered into this marriage thing when I was barely ready spiritually and emotionally it's knocking me out don't say that how's Madrid? that one i'm beginning to see my old self in her what <laughs> please it's my legacy right <laughs> What? <laughs> you need to stop. Mildred is a little girl. Mm? And I think the best thing you can do for her right now is get her close to God. 
I mean, she's young and flexible. So it shouldn't be hard to get her acquainted with the things of God from an early age. How old is it? What? The pregnancy. Oh. What? How did you... <laughs> what, what is it that... Yes, my daughter. The best part of it is, Scan has already shown that he's a male child. <laughs> I'm so happy! Yes, they are doing well. They are fine. Mother and child. They are fine. Yeah, extend my greetings to your husband as well. And tell him, I didn't send you to him. You know I'm your favorite daughter. And I know you must be feeling lonely. Especially now that I am married. Mom, honestly I miss you too. Yeah, I also miss our gossip. Lele, Lele, see who is talking. Oh, come on. <laughs> I asked my husband to buy you a car. <laughs> Of course, mom. And that's not all. We'll also buy you some new wrappers while coming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, mom, I, I would have to call you back. I have some visitors. I would definitely tell my husband you called. Okay. Okay, then. Be good. Bye. Bye, darling. How many was that? <laughs> Your sister. Oh. She's happy I'm going to have a grandson soon. Wow. Yes. Hope they're fine. Oh, sure. They're doing well. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. Let's cheers to that. Oh, <laughs> cheers to my grandson. And to my nephew. <laughs> mm. Yes. Oh, pardon me, besties. You know my mom and I are like two peas in a pod. Um, Harmony, you have said that like a thousand times before. You know, you're getting really boring. Can we just change the topic? Whatever. Like I was saying before my mom called, marriage is sweet. Especially when you're married to a man as wealthy. And loving, handsome as my husband. How many, darling? Now that you're married to a rich man, I'm sure it won't be difficult for you to pay me that money. Bring it down, girl. I know you are broke and still single. That is why you want to spoil this marriage vibes. You're very stupid. You are mad. And wait now. See, make at the end. And wait. See. And I don't buy ring. I don't buy ring. Eh. See. And I've been mean, they say I go go price wedding gown. Make I know I'm on the seller. And 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 wait. And I know do this thing to me now. And I go friend to. And. And not tell you waiting and no wait. And no and no wait. And and no see. See, make I tell you. Eh? I go come do everything with they do for my head for your head. Now me they talk am. And no and no and no wait now. And no. And no and no wait. And no and no. And and no and no wait now. See. 
And it won't leave me marry another man. Can, can you imagine? Eh? Open the gates! Okay, no, no. For this place, where they work, now maybe the general manager. Yeah, GM, no, GM. Hey, no, GM. Hey, 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 close my gates. Okay. I said, close my gates. Why ah. close my gates? What's, what's your problem? Okay, no, no. Leave your gate, man. Let me tell you something. There is this girl I met, honestly. This new girl I met. Hi. If you see her waistline, my brother, you will beg to have your one night stand with her. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Jim. How many times did I call you? You see, Jim. You were my friend. You were my best man in my wedding. Good. And as such, you should be telling me on how to be a good man. To be a good husband to my wife. Not telling me about some women. What's up, man? Stop all those pretense now. Why are you acting so righteous? Eh? You are a playboy. I know you. Your love for women. In no fear, no be you again. Okay. No problems. I... I know what to do. Well, let me advise you. Let me give you this little piece of advice. Mm -hmm. You need to get married. Mm -hmm. You need to get married to one of those numerous girlfriends of yours. Right? Because I can continue to be a friend to a single man that talks nothing but women, women. Besides, we're in my house. My wife could listen. So you... Hello, ladies. Come on, you're too pretty to be frowning. Nonsense. Are you coming? Is she always like this? Uh, no, she's not. One of those bad days, you know. Um, your face rings a bell. Um, do I know you from somewhere? Um, I guess so. The best man at your friend's wedding, yeah? Uh, yes. Okay, I was part of the bridemaids. Oh, really? Yeah. The bridemaids? Um, can I have your number? Okay, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, let me remember. Uh, okay, okay. Right, me. Disappoint me, 
Yes, I know. <laughs> Thank God I okay. said. What you got there? Well, first of all, I got a pack for you. Okay. Yeah. And um, kind of nice, but trust uh, me when they say popo and watermelon, cucumber. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so two choices now. You want a fork or? No, I don't want a fork. You want a fork? <laughs> I want to take my hand. <laughs> okay, your hands there, uh, your fingers. Yes, right. and you know what I'll go for. Okay, I know. My favorite cucumber. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome, your highness. Mm. Mm -hmm. Am I eating? No. You brought all of this for me. Yeah, yeah. Of this course. is a lot. No, I know it's a lot, but you know what? Um, it's sexier what you want to watch. <laughs> Put it down. <laughs> Put it down. Okay. There's more where that came from. I'm just gonna watch you. Beautiful ABCs of womanhood. Eat. There's more, huh? There's more. There's more where that came from. Yeah, like there's more. How there's, much more? There's more where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> Talking crap and I'll push this into no, your no, mouth. No, it's okay, it's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you I'm kidding sorry. me? I'm sorry. Let me just keep elevating my wife, you know, elevate for you. Mm -hmm. okay? I'll just keep doing that for you. So there can't be bending, right? Um, you know, the result of bending kept you in this condition. So hey, if you want to bend stop it. <laughs> okay, okay. You, you, need can, to up. you can bend after this is out. You need to it's shut okay. up. All right. <laughs> Okay. What is it again? Baby, I uh, thought I told you that I'm running late to work. Baby, baby, please hold me. I don't think I can stay alone at home today. Just call your office, give them an excuse that you won't be making it to the office. Baby, please do this for me, I beg you. That will certainly not be possible. You know why? My office is having a crucial meeting with the foreign investors. I am in charge of that meeting, so I have to be there. See, you just have to take care of yourself. When I come back, we can talk, right? Okay, if you have to go, let me just tell you this. I need a car. You need what? You heard me the first time. I thought we've talked about this over time, that I do not have money for such. Why do you always come up with this issue? Baby, I am your wife. And you are not always available to take me to the hospital for Antinental. I mean, how do you expect me to cope jumping from cab to taxi? Hell no. I need a car. And you must get me one because I know you can afford it. I think it's high time I told you this. Listen, woman. You made me spend outrageously on a wedding. All because you want to prove to your friends that your husband is well to do. After wedding, what next? No, tell me. What next? What did I get in return? What did I get from your family? Nothing. And you're here complaining. Listen, I have said that time without number. I do not have money for a car. And you have to bear it for the time being. Excuse me.
mom. <laughs> he said, I don't care attitude is unbearable. <laughs> Ever since Jen became pregnant, is Jen this, Jen that, everything is Jen, Jen, Jen. <laughs> My own daughter doesn't enjoy paternal love. <laughs> This thing is killing me. I'm so heartbroken. I just don't know what to do, Mom. I don't know what to do. Hey. It's okay. There's no how anybody will tell me that that co-wife of yours has no hand in your misfortune. She enchanted him. I made you not to conceive again after having your first issue. I am very, very sure about that. But me, Adobe, I can never be at the losing side. Yes. <sighs> How old is her pregnancy? Six months plus. Hi! This girl has killed me. Six months plus, and you are just telling me. You are just telling me. You don't know the implications. If that lady first gives birth to a male child to that family, automatically that child will become the heir apparent of that home. Oh. All the Ugo quest properties all their wealth what are you doing you don't tell me you don't let me know that she's pregnant <laughs> hi <laughs> <laughs> Much never end. But now na, na this same and no matter. Oga, they won't carry him. Carry him, give one village champion. Village champion, no. Village champion, Oga. You know you're very stupid. You know you're the biggest clown I've ever seen on earth. Sir? Now listen to me on the same way. Next time you walk up to me to tell me this rubbish, I swear to God, you're going to fight. Now listen. You have the habit to come collect salary when the month has not ended. But you see this time, you're not going to have a couple until the month is ended. Oh, yeah, big. If you know you're tired of this job, you tell me. I will gladly look for someone else. Or will you get out of my sight? Get out of my sight. Get out. I said get out of my sight. Wow. She is responsible for my daughter's condition in that family. And there's no way I will sit back and watch her gloat over me. Never. That's <laughs> <laughs> The trial I come from 
we are celebrated for our wickedness. A place where laughter means trouble. <coughs> what kind of evil would you like me to do? Yes. She is now six months pregnant. I want you to terminate that child in that womb. Do it. Thank you. But at this point in time, it is impossible to terminate the child. Why? There is a strong edge protecting the baby. Strong edge? I can only destroy her with a forceful level. Good. So why did it take you so long to pick my call? I'm here now. Marvelous, do you know you're a bad friend? Why are you still chatting with Amani? I thought you said we we're best friends. I don't understand you. What do you really want from me? Harmony has a bad character, yes. But that doesn't mean you guys should always be fighting each other. What nonsense are you talking about? Were you not there? Didn't you see the way she was making mockery of us the other day? So why are you sounding like a Christian all of a sudden? Oh, really? So it's showing that I'm a changed person. Of course, that's how I want my new boyfriend to see me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't tell me you accepted to date Jim. Oh. Oh, talk of the devil. Hello. <laughs> I'm doing good, thank you. I love you too. <laughs> oh. Just see how you're smiling like someone who has won a lottery. Listen to me, my dear friend. That guy looks like a playboy. And soon you will find out. Christy, why are you so bitter? Why are you so bitter when someone finds true love? I think you need a man because I found myself one. And what's the meaning of this nonsense talk? Oh, really? I just replied to your nonsense talk. I think I'm, you, th you think I'm, what's her name? Harmony. I would just beat you like a child. <laughs> guy, 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 stop laughing. Guy, stop laughing. Uh, yeah, stop laughing. I love Marvelous. But you I, know that's not possible. I want to marry her. You know it's not possible. Okay. Why? Okay, let me tell you. The why is that you that I know is a chronic womanizer. Okay? And all you want from that girl is the piece of her beautiful behind. And after which you're going to drop her for another. Guy, I know you now. Why did you deceive yourself? Deceiving myself, uh, yeah. she cared to call him Port Black. Mm. You can say whatever you want to say. Mm. Excuse me. Hello? Hey, baby, what's up? Mm. Yeah, how you doing? <laughs> no, no, no. You know, each time I see your call, once your call comes into my phone, my heart keeps dancing. Yes, that's my baby. Uh, yes, you can go to the hotel now. I have spoken to the manager. He's going to give you the key to the favorite room. No, 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 no. I am in a meeting with some clients. So mm -hmm. As soon as I'm done, I will come over. But you can order whatever you want. Once I come, I'll clear the bills. Anything, anything. 
I love you, baby. All right, see you later. <laughs> What's that? Now, we should go on human nighter. Well, you can say whatever you want to say. Hi! Yeah. You can say whatever you want to say. Keep driving, keep Thank driving, you. so that that man will cross the road. Alright, so. God! Hey! I fear you. Marvelous. I called to let you know that I have paid that stupid girl her money. Listen, I want you to talk to your friends. If I ever see her useless legs in my house again, <laughs> oh God, what I will do to her? <laughs> oh, she won't know what hit her. How many? Baby. How many? Who withdrew money from my account? How can you say that? When all your ATM cards are always with you and you've not told me your new password, so... Listen, don't give me that pretentious attitude. Money I've been missing in my account every now and then. And I know you're the brain behind it, so where's my money? Where is my money? <laughs> my husband, why are you so wicked to me? Why? I mean, firstly, you refused me sex for like two weeks. And now you're accusing me of stealing your money. What have I done to you to deserve this? Hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Mr. Anthony. But I'm here because your hopeless and shameless wife has been spoiling my name on social media. Just because I asked her to pay me the money she owed me. Good enough she paid me the money. And then, she started writing all sorts of rubbish about me on the internet. Listen to me, Amelie. I'm giving you one hour to delete the rubbish you wrote about me on the internet. Else I will tell your husband something that will make him divorce you with speed. It is now obvious that all you want is to ruin my marriage, but it will never work for you. Listen, you better go and get married and stop pocknosing into other people's marital affairs. And stop looking at my husband like that because he is not your type. Harmony, I will not warn you again. Stay away from my business completely, else you'll be dealing with the devil himself. It's yours. Just look at her. So. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Does she really say she will say? Baby. Have I wanted to always lock my gates? Madam, Madam, Nakada, say make I go by. Eh? No, 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 no. And what are you blabbing about? Madam, no, what's not the blab with that? Eh? No, no, for village, the one can give given them and make it marry. Will you lock my gates, you idiot? So make I come tell you. If you go help me, beg or girl. Make you for paying my salary. Eh? This matter between me and them, Madam, you don't enter extra time. And I feel this much. If I know which village today, 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 Madam, today like this, I started talking. Will you get out of my sight, you disgusting thing? After all, it was you, you, who left the gate open for that snake we see to crawl into my garden. And you're here blabbing nonsense. Snake? Which garden? Get when me, I, de, I be DM for the gate. Snake, enter. Madam, I lie. Madam, I lie. 
No snake enter that gate. If you don't get your frustrated lazy bones out of my sight this minute, I will break your head. Get out! Madam, madam, this is a wickedness. Ah, which kind of wickedness be this? How ah, you are or 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 man or 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 Thank you for agreeing to meet me, Mr. Anthony. You said you wanted to see me. You wanted to tell me something about my wife. I thought you said you're not interested. Whatever I said in the past doesn't matter. I decided not to allow my emotions for her overcloud my sense of reasoning. All I want to know is about the woman I married. Tell me. Harmony and I were like sisters. I did make a lot of sacrifices for her. But now, she treats me like a worst enemy. So I should have no fear revealing her darkest secret. But like I said, what I'm about to say will make you divorce your wife. Are you ready? Um, I don't care. I don't care at all. All I want is the truth. I want to know about the woman I got married to. So go on, keep talking. I'm, 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 I'm listening. <laughs> Wait a second. Have you been staring at... <sighs> well, I'm sorry about it. Okay, um... I just said I'm game. I don't know about you. Hmm. Interesting. Um, maybe you could go somewhere and talk about this, don't you think so? Good. I see. Let's go somewhere then. Good. on my couch and one name is Jean while the other is Marvelous. <laughs> I can see both of you are deep in love. Well, you guys are owing me one. Oh yes, this love started in my house so I should be appreciated for it. <laughs> well, don't mind me. I'm happy for both of you. Well, not to surprise you, you are going to be the guest of honor on my wedding day. Guest of honor? Hmm. Don't tell me that the both of you have started planning a wedding without telling me. <laughs> well, actually, the wedding date has been fixed. We're just waiting for the invitation cards. What is wrong with you, bro? <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> You mean you did this without telling me? No. Your guy is in love. Anthony! Anthony! Hey, what's this? 
Why you shout? Do me? not baby me, you pretentious dirty thing. Excuse me. So you are sleeping with Christy? What is this? What is this? I ask you. Are this not the photo? Rubbish, nonsense, love messages you you have with her. Nonsense pictures. How dare you? Rubbish. How dare you touch my phone? Are you mad? Did you open it? How dare you open my phone? Who would give her the guts to do that? No, have you gone no, wrong? No, no, no. Are you insane? No, it's okay, bro. I told you. Please, can I see my office? Divorcing your wife? Please, Christy, that's not why I'm here. I came because I want you to follow me to the hotel. I just need to calm my head down. That's all I need right now. See the way you're just saying it as if I'm a prostitute. Well, I'm sorry about this. My wife just got me pissed. So I just need to go to a quiet place and calm my nerves. That's why I want you to come with me. Please do not say no. Um, Anthony, Anthony, I am tired of seeing you with this sort of pattern. I'm tired of jumping from one hotel to the other just to be with you. You have to get me an apartment, or better still, take me to your house. I can live there. I don't mind being a second wife. Christy, I thought we've talked about this before. You really need to embrace that out of your mind for the now. Yes, I can admit the fact that I am no longer in love with my wife. But I can't divorce her. She is pregnant. I do not want anything to happen to the child. <laughs> Please, don't just go there. And what's funny? And why do you think that your wife is with a child? Christian, I saw the test results myself. And all this while, I've been seeing pregnancy symptoms. So what are you insinuating? Just that. Did you go with her to the hospital to confirm that she's truly pregnant? 
Oh, well, Christy, I know you don't like my wife. Mm. I know that. But this is a very sensitive issue. If you have any information relating to what you're saying, you better go straight and spit them out. I've told my parents I'm expecting a child and they are also expecting a grandchild. So tell me what you're saying. <laughs> okay, okay, it's my bad. Anthony, I didn't tell you about your wife's past with different men. Her money had sex with numerous men. And then she started taking a lot of contraceptive and that affected her wound badly. Christy, is this what you based your assumption on? Anthony, this is not assumption. I know her money. I have known her for several years. And my God tells me that she's trying to play a fast one on you. Be wise. Christy, I know you do not like my wife. And you're doing all this because you hate her, right? Okay. If you want to find out if this is true, why don't you take her to an hospital and run another test? I better say, just wait. Pregnancy doesn't hide, does it? <laughs> that is a problem, Mr. Doctor, I'm listening. From the tests and the scan we ran, the child is forcing his way out. What? What? After that six months? The situation is far worse. How do you mean? We have a dicey situation here. We either inject your wife and your child dies, or we save your child and your wife dies. What did the doctor say? Is it? The doctor says so. If the baby comes out, Jane will lose her life. Jesus. But if, 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 I, if I want to save. I want to save her own life. I have to let him eject her and kill the baby. God forbid. The God I serve. I know the God I serve. He will not let me down as far as far as my Redeemer delivered. So do I. I am born with Christ. I died and rose again with Christ. Affliction will not raise its ugly head again. Messiah will come through. I'm having this baby. I'm having my baby. Whether the devil likes it or not. I'm with 
So what are you saying? No, what are you really saying, mother? What are you saying? I choose the unborn child over my wife. Is that what you're saying? The unborn child has a future. The scan says is a boy. That means he might turn around to be something great tomorrow. Can't you see it? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Why are you like this? Why? Look, if I didn't know you any better, I would say you're not the woman I sucked her breast growing up. What has my innocent wife done to you? What? What? No matter what? Now listen to me. I will say this in candid words. I don't care if she's carrying the president of the world. I am saving my wife. Then what? Then what? I lose my inheritance? Is that it? I don't care. I don't give a damn. I don't care. No, no, the question to you is this. Do you even know what she's going to give birth to? Do you know what she's carrying? Do you know if she's carrying a psychopath? Do you know if she's carrying somebody who has schizophrenia? Do you know if she's carrying and some, somebody who is not of worth living? Do you know that? Then by then, what would have happened? I would have lost my wife, my God-given diadem. No, it won't work. I am saving my wife. That's where I'm going and it will not work. I just need you to be strong. There is one thing I know more than I know my name. And that is, what God cannot do does not exist. Mm. <laughs> Sister Jane, I want to let you know that God cannot forsake you. God cannot forsake you. Because you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. <laughs> because you have made a covenant with God. And the Bible says, hope and covenant. By these two immutable things, <laughs> it's impossible for God to fail his people. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm strong. I am strong. Yeah. I am strong in the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Jehovah God Almighty, I bring your daughter, Sister Jane, before you. In this situation, Lord God Almighty, you said in everything we find ourselves, we should give you thanks. I am what I am. I give you all the thanks for this pregnancy. Heavenly Father, I exalt your name. I adore you, King of Kings, Lord. He will never disappoint me. Yes, I know. The God I serve. Let God arise. Make a name for yourself. Push like on today. I want to talk to you as a friend. I beg you, please listen to your husband. I have a career in medicine spanning over 10 years now. This child may take your life. Whose report shall I believe? The doctor's or God's report? Doctor, I don't know how many people you have doctored. I don't even care 
How many years you have doctored those people? I know someone. Someone who has doctored from generation to generation. And I stand on the promises of his word and declare with boldness that my baby will be delivered into my hands, hale and hearty. For thus says the Lord. He will fight my battles while I hold my peace. He will make a way where there is no way.
I'm not strong enough to come out. Favor room. I need to get to the favor room now. What are you talking about? I had a dream. I had a dream. And a voice told me in my dream that I should I should enter the favor room now. Please take me there. Madam, are you talking about the labor room? No. No, you heard me the first time. Favor room. I'm going to the favor room. Take me there now. Now. I don't think we we'll have it, but I will tell the doctor. So. But they have to go back to your room. No, ask him now. Ask him now. Take me to the favor room. Ah! Please go back to your room. Please. 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 Ah! I lost my redeemer, leave it. So do I live on. I died and rose with Christ. No affliction will rise against me. He is my unshakable foundation. He's my rock and my hiding place. So as long as my redeemer lives, no affliction will rise against me. I know the God I said, He will never let me down. He will never disappoint me. Yes, I know the God I serve. He will never let me down. He will never disappoint me. He said, Go, God, I'm with you. I'm with you. you will make it. God, I'm your God. I'm your Don't God. be afraid. Go, I'm your God. And I can never disappoint. Oh, he said, Go, go. I'm with you. I'm with you. He said, Go, go. I'm your God. I'm your Wherever God. you are, go. I'm with you. I'm your and I will never disappoint. As far as my Redeemer lives, so do I live on. I died and rose with Christ. No affliction will rise against me. He is my unshakable foundation. He's my rock and my hiding place. So as long as my redeemer lives, no affliction. Welcome, sir. Yes, thank you very much. Um, how is my wife? She's fine, sir. Okay, what about Dr. Ben? This is our doctor. His office. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. Jesus! Jesus, Jesus. Baby, thank God you're here. You know, I had a dream. In my dream, the baby, the baby had arrived. And he was a boy. Call the doctor. Call the doctor! Call the doctor! Who is he? What does he want from me again? What? Oh, he wants to tell me that he has finally killed my grandson. I wouldn't know. Yes? What? May God be praised. Hallelujah, Lord. Ah. I'll call you back. Oh my God. How is that even possible? What is it? Jane just put to bed a bouncing baby boy. Both of them are doing well. No life is lost. How? How? Oh my God. No life is lost. I just... 
Oh my god! Sonia! Sonia! What is wrong with you? Sonia! Security! Security! What is wrong with you? Thank, thank you, you so thank much. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. No. Uh, mother, um, what did you tell me happened on the phone? Please, let's go inside first. Oh, Nico, let's go inside. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. I heard that your confused boyfriend has proposed to you. Oh, Christy, I have nothing to discuss with you. You were a very wicked person. How could you? How many is supposed to be our friend? Oh, please, don't even give me that earlier than that attitude. Because you're clearly not a saint. You're not even close to one. And you know how many. You know, if she was in my shoes, she would do worse to me. So what are you talking oh, about? Oh, please. Is that what you tell yourself? You are a very wicked person. Her home is shaking, all thanks to you. I warned her, but she didn't listen. And let me warn you as well. Stop posting your relationship on social media. <laughs> Remember Amoni? Not too long ago, she started posting a guy just to peppers. How did it end? A husband goes on his knees to beg me to marry him. Be warned. And let me advise you, darling. If you try coming close, an inch to my man, I will kill you and face the consequences. Robert. Confess your sins. God will have mercy on you. Please. I have offended every one of you. Please. You all should forgive me. Please. 
find a place in your heart to forgive me. Especially you, Jane. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. <laughs> I am responsible for your in this neighborhood. Please. 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 I was consumed by jealousy. The way Jerry bombarded you. So I, I had to see spiritualists with the help of my mother. My plan was to kill the baby inside you. What? Please. You plan to kill my grandson? You plan to you, you plan to kill my grandson? Get out! 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 Get <laughs> Jane, please. I am begging you, please. Forgive me, please. I beg. It was the work of the devil. Pastor, please. Help me beg them for me now, please. Please, I beg you. Mama. Jerry, please. Please. Please forgive me. Jerry. Please. Why? Please. Sonia, why? I don't even know what to tell you. Help. Mama, please now. Jerry. From the depth of my heart, I forgive you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let us pray for her. In Jesus' name. Say after me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. Yes, yes, my Lord and Savior. And as from today onward, from today onward, I am now with you. Anthony! Anthony! So it has gotten to the point of bringing a girl into my matrimonial home. Point of eh? Point of correction, my house, built with my heart and money, right? And besides, you told me you're going to your auntie's place to come back a day after tomorrow. So what are you doing here? Anthony, tell this harlot to leave my house. Okay. Or oh, yeah, are you out of my house? Excuse hey, madam, me? watch your tongue. Can you imagine? Are you talking to me? Look at this idiot. Oh, no! Are you stupid? Oh, are you stupid? Oh, oh, oh. As your best friend, I believe I have a right in this issue on ground and based on your marriage. Look at your wife. She's looking so miserable. You can't keep beating her every day. She's even pregnant for you. Come on. Is your wife for crying out loud? Do you know why you open that thing you call a mouth to talk? It's because you're not the one wearing the shoes. It's also because you're not the one married to this idiot. Anthony. To this ingrate. Anthony, you can't keep calling your wife and Shut idiot. up. Let me finish. Allow me to finish. Fine. Are you aware? Are you aware that while I was planning our marriage, that this infidel was busy 
keeping an affair with her Dubai boyfriend? Are you aware of that? That is all I get. That is all I get. Wait, wait, wait. You want to end your marriage because of what a street girl told you? Oh, she did not just tell me. She showed me pictures. Listen, she even made an arrangement for me to meet with this sad guy. And the guy confirmed the story just to hurt my emotions. That is what I get from this fool. That is what I get. Married to this idiot. And here you are. Oh, damn it. Mr. Anthony, I understand the fact that you're really upset. Trust me. But I still have to state the fact clear. That Crystal and Harmony has been my good friends for over the years. Harmony is becoming a better person. See how calm and remorseful she's looking. I think you should just calm down and look deep into this matter, please. Oh, I am not looking at anything. I think it's high time I told you guys. Let me make this very clear. I am no longer interested. I am no more in love with this woman. What? I am telling you the gospel truth. <sighs> I think I need a vacation. <laughs> I've had enough of all this. <laughs> Look who's talking. How did I get involved in this nonsense? What kind of rubbish is this? How can Anthony keep humiliating you like this? Every single day he beats you. I think it's high time you involved your family in this. None of my family members should know about this. And you have refused to tell me why. I was not nice to my sister-in-law. She was having childlessness issues and I kept making mockery of her. You know, and if she finds out that I'm in this situation, she would mock me in return. That's your reason. Yeah. Can I remind you that this has gone far beyond normal? Listen, I have actually called your mom. Yes, I've called your sister. I've actually called your family. Yes, because you can't keep calling me and I can't keep running here. My wedding is next week. never to return why what do you mean why does she have a place here light and darkness can never be a comfortable mix i died and rose with christ no affliction will rise against me he is my unshakable foundation he's my rock and my hiding place so as long as my redeemer lives. No affliction will rise against me. I know the God I said, He will never let me down. He will never disappoint me. Yes, I know the God I said, He will never let me down. He would never disappoint me. He said, Go. I'm with you. you Look at me. Make it. I'm your God. Don't be afraid. I'm your Should God. I carry? 
Let's get oh, oh, you're a big girl. So big. I know. The God I said. He will never let me down. He will never disappoint me. Yes, I know. The God I said. He will never let me down. He will never disappoint me. He said, Go, I'm with you. You will make it. I'm your God. Don't be afraid. I'm your God. And I can never disappoint. Oh, He said, Go, I'm with you. He said, Go, I'm your God. Wherever you are. I'm with you, and I will never disappoint. As far as my Redeemer lives, so do I live on. I died and rose with Christ. No affliction will rise against me. He is my unshakable foundation. He's my rock and my hiding place. So as long as my Redeemer lives, no affliction will rise against me. I know the God I said, He will never let me down. He will never disappoint me. Yes, I know the God I said, He will never let me down. He would never disappoint me. He said, Go, I'm with you. You will make it. I'm your God.